Hi, I'm Angie and you're watching Dante's 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 Vaccinating. Now check this out. If any of you guys want to learn how to speak and read the original biblical Hebrew words, I want you to go over to zionlawschool.org. You will receive an overview of Phoenician Hebrew, grammar, parts of speech, nouns, verbs, prepositions, etc. This brother that founded this website, he's a doctor and he's a neighbor of mine, at least in a neighboring country because you know I live in Thailand and he lives in Vietnam. Now he's also selling three books and each book that you buy comes with free online live courses. He has Phoenician Hebrew one-on-one, -on -one, I Can Read, and 911 Ibar Yath Rescue. So if you wanna learn more about your roots and you wanna learn how to speak the original biblical Hebrew language, I want you guys to go over to zionlawschool.org. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? We back at it. We are back at it with some breaking news. For those of you guys who didn't know, Tyson Fury is under investigation by the UCOD, UKAD, that's the United Kingdom Anti-Doping Agency, for charges of tampering with evidence and lying to the agency about him failing this test back in 2015. For Nandrolone, a steroid that got him and his cousin Huey Fury banned from the sport for two years but the ban was backdated so it's like he really didn't get suspended for two years now this 70 year old man you guys are looking at right here martin carefoot claims team fury offered him 25,000 pounds to provide false evidence to ucod and the false evidence was he sold them some wild boar and pigs mr carefoot now reveals that he lied to the agency to ucod that he never provided Team Fury any wild boar or any pigs. And he never got the money he was supposed to get from Team Fury. Now, I've been telling you guys ever since this news broke that this is a serious, serious problem for Tyson Fury. It's a serious investigation. Which now that I got you guys caught up, I can bring you to the updated breaking news. It's just been reported that Tyson Fury, he relinquished his UK license prior to his victory over Deontay Wilder. He actually sent a letter to them directly relinquishing his UK license. Now this clearly implies that Tyson Fury, he expected things to possibly go down this way. That he's been dealing with the threats of this farmer for quite some time. Because once again, with Tyson Fury misleading UCOD, lying to them about this whole story of the wild boar and costing UCOD a lot of money, he was looking at, once again, an eight-year ban. And the assumption is now that he relinquishes UK license, he's going to dodge this bullet when it comes to a possible ban or any punishment from the UK. Now, I don't know if he can dodge all the problems I mean, I told you guys before, when it comes to gold medalist, the fastest woman, the former fastest woman in the world, Marion Jones, she went to jail simply because she lied to the anti-doping agency about her taking drugs. Just because she lied about it, they put her in jail. And this farmer is telling us that Tyson Fury, he lied. He did the exact same thing Marion Jones did. The only difference is Tyson Fury, he has his hope insurance. So there's no way they want to put him in jail. So here's the obvious question. If this farmer, he had no proof backing up his claims. He had no receipts, no documents that can prove that this all went down. Why would Tyson Fury relinquish his UK license? And furthermore, why would he relinquish his license when a possible fight between him and Anthony Joshua, two British fighters, a fight that would have definitely been in the UK at an arena with 100,000 fans easily? 
Why would Tyson Fury risk all of that by relinquishing his UK license? Guys, I got news for you. It's not the farmer that's acting like he has something to hide. It's not the farmer who's acting like he's guilty. It's Tyson Fury who's acting like he's guilty. It's funny too, because Tyson Fury's hope insurance is so good. Every single time some new story comes out, the Tyson Fury fans, they immediately try to defend Tyson and saying, oh, this story is BS. Some fan in my comment section, he kept dropping these links, you know, saying this is BS. This has already been debunked, et cetera, et cetera. And he's putting all these links down, right, of an article. I clicked on the link. And when I click on the link, it says even Tyson Fury's own legal team says the farmer has no proof. <laughs> like, like that automatically just exonerates Tyson Fury. Like, that's the smoking gun. Of course his lawyers are going to say something like that. Of course Frank Warren is going to say something like that. What would you expect them to say? Now, I could see if you had the farmer's wife or the farmer's lawyer, if they said something like that, then I could see the article saying something like, even the farmer's own lawyer says he has no proof. But that's obviously not the case, right? That's what you call reaching. That is truly what you call reaching. Desperately trying to protect Tyson Fury by all means necessary, to no avail. Now, before I continue, I'm gonna go ahead and promote my man's new YouTube channel. I really, really want you guys to support this brother's channel, Positive Brother, Tank Commander Zulu. I'm letting everybody know right now, we building together on this channel. This brother, he supports my channel, so I'll support his channel. We working together. So I'm gonna say this right now, for anybody out there who's not with that, if you don't wanna watch these ads, you don't wanna support these positive people in the world, please just stay off my channel. I'm begging you, stay off my channel, okay? With that being said, when it comes to everybody else, I thank you guys for always supporting this channel. Let's get into it. Salute to Dante's Boxer Nation, the best brand in the land, baby. And to all of the DBN family, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce myself. I go by Tank Commander Zulu, and I represent the Real Man Movement. I have a new YouTube channel, y'all, and I would like everyone to become a subscriber. On the channel, I deal with positive male enforcement. I deal with combat-connected and trauma-connected PTSD. I deal with the community builders inside of the community and see if they are really representing us or not. I bring on interviewers that represent the community and who have impacted the community, community in a positive way. So don't forget, and I please invite everyone to subscribe to Tank Commander Zulu and the Real Man Movement. Fire in the hole, baby. Once again, there it is, guys. And I gotta thank everybody who showed that love the last time I promoted this brother's channel because he has a really good channel. The first time I promoted his channel, you guys turned up. A whole bunch of you guys subscribed to his channel. I think over 300 people subscribed to his channel the very first video I did promoting him. So let's keep that support going, man. Once again, a great way to support my channel is to subscribe to my man's channel, okay? Let's help my man get to a thousand subscribers. Hitting that subscribe button is like hitting the like button. So I'll put the link in the description box so you guys can go over and subscribe to his channel. Or you could just go on YouTube and just search Tank Commander Zulu and you can subscribe that way as well. Let's get back to business. Guys, I'm telling you, when it comes to this whole situation with Tyson Fury, it's getting to the point where the cover-up is bigger than the initial story. At least in the United States of America. I mean, I've never seen something like this before. When Tyson Fury was under investigation, that was the biggest news in boxing. With this coronavirus, you know, knocking out all of the events, and there's not a whole lot of news right now. This was the biggest news in the sport of boxing, and not one single major boxing website, not one single sporting network, 
or mainstream entity covered this story. Even when it comes to TMZ, TMZ is known for covering everything that Floyd Mayweather did, right? If there was anything about Floyd Mayweather or anything about anyone in the sport of boxing, TMZ always covers it. They have TMZ and then they have TMZ Sports. They didn't even want to touch this story. But the funny thing is, now that Tyson Fury may escape this eight-year ban, now I'm seeing some of these mainstream boxing websites, now they're covering that. With titles like Tyson Fury relinquishing the UK license may keep them beyond reach of UCOD. I mean, it's like a story with a celebrity being charged for murder or rape or just something heinous, right? And this one particular news station, they don't cover the story at all. While every other news station is reporting it as breaking news, they don't even touch the story, right? But then when it's possible that the suspect may be found innocent, then weeks later they come out and say, hey guys, breaking news, so-and-so might be exonerated. He might be found innocent for these charges. That's pretty much what these websites are doing in America when it comes to protecting Tyson Fury. And once again, the funny thing is the UK, Tyson Fury's own home country, they're not even trying to protect him. At least not the media. I mean, the fans may be trying to protect him, but not the media. The media, they have integrity out there. They do their job, regardless if they're a Tyson Fury fan or not. Not in America. So throughout this whole Tyson Fury situation, what you've guys learned, I won't say what I've learned because I already knew this, but what you guys learned is it doesn't matter if Tyson Fury cheated. It doesn't matter if he bribed people, tampered with evidence just to keep a lie going. As long as he beat a black champion in the process, all is forgiven. And what I just stated right there, I'm going to prove in a separate video. Because once again, that's one thing that's great about YouTube. You know, YouTube, I always say, it's pretty much like a public diary where people reveal everything about themselves, regardless if they do it intentionally or not. Everything these fans say is documented. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my next video. It'll probably be uploaded later on. Uh, right now where I'm at is what, eight o'clock in the morning. So I'll be probably dropping another video in a couple of hours or a little bit later on tonight, my time. I'm on to the next one, y'all. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up by shouting out two brand new YouTube channels. First up is my man, King Sensei. He has a new YouTube channel. He covers hip hop, he covers UFC, boxing, and all the other sports. He's also giving away $100 to the thousand subscriber. Then we have my man, Nate Drink One. He's a 10 year Marine Corps vet. He also has a new YouTube channel. And since I've been promoting him for what, the last couple of days, his YouTube channel has already went from 60 subs to almost 400 subs. Uh, this is, matter of fact, that's an old image you guys were just looking at with the 287. Yeah, but he covers boxing, he covers hip hop battles, he covers all the sports, and he also has a good podcast. It's kind of an ESPN style podcast show called A Drink of Wisdom. So I want you guys to go ahead and show that support and subscribe to King Sensei and subscribe to Nate Drink One. Let's help these brothers get to a thousand subs. You know it don't take nothing but a minute to hit that subscribe button. I'll put their links in the description box. Not only are you supporting their channel, but this is a great way for you guys to support what I do over here at Dante's Boxing Nation. I wanna shout out my man Rodriguez Jackson. He's an author, he has three books on Amazon right now. And he has a little something for everybody because one of the books is for kids. He has poetic drama, poetry stew, and kids magic. So if you guys are readers and you're looking for some new good stuff to read, go ahead, go to Amazon, pick up one of these books. It's always good to support a brother that's doing something positive. So I'll go ahead and put the Amazon link in the description box. Now, before I get started, I want to tell you guys about this great book named Growing Pains by Arthur Audrey P.A. The story is about a woman that goes through some extreme trials and tribulations at the hands of many male counterparts and how she became stronger and determined to change her life for the better. So go ahead and support this up and coming Arthur Audrey P.A. by going over to Amazon.com and picking up yourself a copy of Growing Pains. I'll put the link in the description box.